complete it's the Hebrew hammer Selden to stop. Judah does ball. not agree with that stoppage, but Yes, it's 2019. Definitely Monty Barrett, I think it was it's a good stop. There's no reason for him to continue. Tied Saturday he showed morning. all the heart in the January world. 8th, 2019. And I don't know what Monty I'm doing. Monty has now. actually pulled his headset team. off. <laughs> so let's has do left it. Out. Let's talk. I don't even know what to talk about. There's no rankings to talk about. There's no like what's next type shit to talk about. Zab Judah, you know, just needs to hang him up. You know, it was a good try, but from the first couple of rounds, it just was like, yo, he's, you know, it's not the same anymore. This was his 54th fight. He should be now, well, he is now um, 44 and 10 with 30 KOs being stopped four, four times and by Cletus Selden. And it's crazy because, you know, outside of the controversial Lucas Matisse fight, you know, he's lost all of his fights. And why did Cletus Selden just push Joe DeGuardia of Star Boxing Promoter? He just gave him like a, like a stiff-ass push. I wonder if it was like... You know, I mean, that is just promoter. I don't know if there's any beef there. I don't think it is. But, you know. So, I wonder if they're going to do any uh, post-fight interviews. I watched this on Fight.TV. And I said, oh, shit, Zab Judas fighting? I've uh, actually watched several fights on here. I believe this is where I watched um, Canelo versus Golovkin 1 via Ring broadcast. And I also watched... I watched several fights on here. I watched BKB1. Let's listen in. Eight. I the end here. comes at one minute and Since 40 seconds of the 11th now. round. No bullshit. Referee no Charlie no Fitch steps in and stops the fight. Your winner by TKO and new NABA Super Light Champion, Cletus the Hebrew Hammer right there. Some episodes of Deadwood while I was watching. That's my word. So yeah, man. Uh my colleague is there. Donald Haynes is there. Uh traveling all over the country. Shout out to him. I don't know why he's doing it, man. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is history in its own way. This was Zab Judah's last fights, big fights with uh Costa Zoo, Corey Spinks. If you want to um um count that, Carlos Baldemir, Lucas Matisse, as we talked about, Miguel Cotto, last big fight back in 2013, Paulie Malinaji, Danny Garcia. Of course, we can't forget uh Floyd Mayweather. You know, the list goes on Amir Khan, Joshua Clotty. Crazy. Chop chop. You know, and he just was, I mean, he is 42, right? He's 42 now, right? Yeah, he's 42. No, he'll be 42 in December. No, in uh, in October. He is 42 now. You know, well, 41. And, you know, everybody just, you know, just don't got it. You know? But he's always going to be a legend. Even if you, even if, with, it, with his defeats, he's a household name. For crying out loud, he's on a video game. He's on fight night. And it's crazy because we might not, the way things are going, we ain't going to get another boxing game. I may not for quite some time for years. So, you know, he, he is a very influential boxer. I remember when I first saw him, I was like, who is this guy with Mike Tyson? This was years and years and years ago when I used to watch boxing. But I wasn't like, I was a fucking casual years ago. Remember all those years ago. Like before he had that uh, no contest, like back during those times. So I guess we're not going to get a post-fight interview. In Huntington, Long Island, no another edition no of the critically acclaimed fight series, Rockin' Fights you know, 35. Tickets available right now at Ticketmaster. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have yourself a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you at the interview. Well, Hebrew Hammer was sticking him to the body. That was uh, Cletus Selden, our man right here. 
Uh, he fought Ulysses, um, Yav- I forgot to pronounce his name, Ulysses Jr. And I covered this on what? Was this Adonis Stevenson? No, Billy Joe Saunders, David Lemieux. Yeah. You know, a pressure fighter. You know, this was the card right here. And uh, Zab Judah just didn't have nothing to keep him. It, it wasn't like it, it, it wasn't like constant pressure. It's just that like every time he was close, he was able to land body shots. And then the last round, he turned up. I was shocked actually. The fight was fucking twelve rounds. Hey man, I gotta go to bed. I don't know what I'm doing. I really covered this, but at the same time, we did have credentials. We had to do our part. You know, shout out to Fight TV. You know, Fight Dot TV. But I sat here. Hmm. The undercard had um. Where's the undercard? I sat here and watched this. Oh, it was a crazy knockout earlier. They had no replays though. I watched all of these. Was it the uh, Sila fight? They had the crazy knockout versus. I think it was the Wendy. I think it was this dude who got brutally KO'd. No, it wasn't him. Who was it? Was it Jonathan Pierre that got brutally KO'd? It was a brutal KO earlier. Was it David? No, it wasn't him. Was it him? No, it wasn't him. This was the co-main. Uh, James McGirt versus uh, David uh, Papak. Varius Williams. What was that brutal KO? It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It wasn't that one. It had to be Eric Abraham who got brutally KO'd. I think it was Eric Abraham. Anyway, fightview360.com. We're going to have some... Um, um, this was also the uh, International Boxing Hall of Fame. Guys like Lee Samuel was there. Um, uh, Teddy Atlas. So we're going to have some footage that I'm going to be uploading over the weekend from this event. Because as I said, um, we have somebody there up in the uh, Turning Stone. And, you know, it is his own history. It is, you know, Zab Judah. So tomorrow or later on today, 24 hours, you know, we're going to have the winner of uh, Golovkin versus uh, Rolls. And uh, Oscar Valdez is, you know, card over on ESPN. So, you know, something to look forward to. Uh, Please subscribe.